Welcome to Wabash College. I'm Jake. And I'm Jake. I'm a history major. And I'm a pre-med chemistry major. Wabash College has been educating men in the liberal arts for over 175 years. Liberal arts? What can you do with that? A liberal arts education opens the door to almost anything. Wabash College is a launching pad for many successful men, including doctors, lawyers, and CEOs. Here, let's take a look. Hey, did you know Wabash grad Bob Charles invented the Happy Meal? What do you want me to say to that? That I want the toy? Absolutely. So Jake, this is Detchen Center, home to our modern languages and classics departments. You can't even walk into this building without learning a new language. <laughs> the neat part about majoring and minoring here is you have the ability to go on an immersion trip. Immersion trips? So does that mean if I'm studying Spanish, I can go to Spain or Mexico? Th that's exactly right. And if you study classics, you can go to Rome or Athens. If you study German, you can go to Germany. This program sounds pretty neat, but what's the overall cost to the students? Yeah, that's actually the best part here, is uh, it's completely free. You know, my buddy just got back from the Galapagos Islands. He was talking nonstop about the iguanas and tortoises. This is the Fuller Arboretum, home to all trees native to Indiana. We come out here and study a lot. And toss the frisbee. This is the new science building, Hayes Hall. It's where biology and chemistry come together. You'll study here if you want to become a doctor or a scientist. But I'm no scientist. Jake? One of the main reasons I came to Wabash was to become a doctor. Wabash has one of the top medical school acceptance rates in all the country. But Wabash turns out nearly as many scientists as it does doctors. This is because of the amazing research opportunities Wabash students have in the lab with the professors. But let's go take a look. Doesn't this place have over like 20 labs? At least 20 labs. We're on the top floor of Hayes Hall, getting ready to go check out one of the chemistry labs. You better stay here. Hey, what are you working on? Hey, Jake, how's it going? We're actually working in the chemistry department with Professor Porter this summer. We're working on these little chips right here. What we're going to be doing is taking the top layer off and seeing what binds to it, what doesn't. And then later down the road in the medicinal field, we're going to use them for medical sensors or drug delivery within the body. Yeah, Jake, each summer about 50 Wabash guys work on paid internships with the various faculty members across campus on all kinds of projects. So do you guys ever blow anything up? Yeah, actually we did that this morning. It was pretty fun. I'll let you guys get to that. This is the senior bench. Only seniors are allowed to sit on it. My pledge class and I came out here and we painted it our house colors the night before the first day of classes. After that, we all fell asleep all around the grass and we woke up the next morning and President White brought us donuts. This is Center Hall. It's over 150 years old. Wabash men have been taking classes here for all those years. It houses our English, religion, and philosophy departments. Our administrative offices are also in there. Inside Center Hall, the tradition continues. You know it's time to go to class when the Sphinx Club rings this bell. This place has a feel, a smell of years gone by. These old creaky stairs give this building a sense of history and tradition. Baxter Hall, home of economics, political science, history, and psychology. Jake's a history major. He spends a lot of time here. Yeah, I take classes in this building because I want to become a lawyer. Throughout the year, these departments bring in scholars, noted authors, and visiting professors to give Wabash students a different perspective. So you said you wanted to be a lawyer? Didn't you say you wanted to be a doctor? Do you think that's why they chose us for this? You think? This is the Fine Arts Center. It symbolizes Wabash's commitment to the understanding and appreciation of the arts. Each year, Wabash brings internationally acclaimed artists and performers to campus, and the shows are free to students. It is one of the most beautiful buildings on campus. Let's go check it out.
Wabash College Chapel, built in 1928 as a memorial to the pioneers of Indiana. It's the center for all our traditions here at Wabash. Hey Jake, you remember freshman Saturday? We were sitting in the upper deck, it was hot and our parents all down below, mom's crying, and then the president rings us in with the Caleb Mills bell, the same bell he used to ring in the first class in 1833. And I can't wait to be rung out on the mall in the shadow of the chapel with a huge audience around and the exact same bell. I remember the shadow of the chapel, the Thursday before homecoming for chapel singing. Yeah, I remember practicing for like a solid two months before that at the house, every day after lunch, all leading up to that one Thursday where we sang for like a solid hour. Okay. Okay. From the hills of Maine to the western no, plain, oh, where the cotton is blown, the gloomy shade of the Stop. northern pine, to the light Seriously. of the southern seas, Seriously. there's a name held Just dear in a color Stop. we cheer wherever we find it glowing. Tears. Jake, it's tradition, come on. Hey, tradition, let's, oh, come on, it's tradition. This is Goodrich Hall. You'll have a chance to take math or physics here, maybe even computer sciences. If you're a math major, you'll have a chance to take an immersion trip to Prague and study with some of the brightest students in the world. There are a lot of arches on this campus. This is the arch at the front of Monon Bell Way. This is just one of many traditions you'll see when you come to Wabash. Never walk under the arch. Never. Unless you want to get struck by lightning. That happened to one of my pledge brothers. I bet that left a mark. This is the Allen Center. It's named after Bob Allen, former CEO of AT&T, who played football at Wabash. We have 11 intercollegiate sports here at Wabash, and 40% of our student body plays in those sports. Last winter, I saw a basketball game, swim meet, and track invite all on the same Saturday. Did you know that Wabash played and won in the first ever baseball, basketball, and football game played in Indiana? You wanna go play some racquetball? Let's go. This is the Malcolm X Institute for Black Studies. It is the first institute of its kind to be named after the civil rights activist Malcolm X. This new building contains classrooms, computer labs, a library of African American literature, and even a kitchen. The Malcolm X Institute hosts a multicultural festival and a lecture series. Sparks Student Center, which houses our campus dining. It's also home of the Scarlet Inn, which is our campus restaurant, and the campus bookstore. Where we buy our books. Yeah. This is the Lilly Library, named after longtime trustee of the college, Eli Lilly. There's over a quarter of a million books inside. Dude, they don't care about the number of books. Tell them about the technology. There's a state-of-the-art media center in the basement. There's also a computer lab available for the students. Yeah, last summer, I used the media center to make my own movie. There's also an awesome staff inside that's very dedicated to the students and helping us with research papers. Yeah, man, they rock. This is Caleb Mills' house. Caleb Mills was the first professor at Wabash College and the founder of the Indiana Public School System. This is Forest Hall. Built in 1833, it is the oldest classroom on campus. Today, this is where Wabash guys learn to become teachers. Once you decide to come to Wabash, the most important decision you're going to have to make is housing. The best thing about Wabash housing is choices. You can live in one of ten fraternities, or one of four dormitories, or houses owned by the college. The important thing is to find what fits you. The Schrader Center for Career Development allows students to gain valuable internship experience to prepare them for graduate school and the job search process. It also gets students plugged into the extensive Wabash Alumni Network. You would not believe the amount of internships that are out there. I even got one. And I got paid for it. Trippett Hall, home of admissions and financial aid. Did you know that Wabash College gives out over $11 million in financial aid and scholarships each year? If the chapel's one of our main symbols on campus, this is the other. 
This is where we'll meet you to take you on your campus tour. While you're on campus, you should meet the professors, talk with the students, and get a taste for our traditions. Yeah, it's not until you're on campus till you get to feel what life is really like. It wasn't until I came and visited that I decided I wanted to go to Wabash. Yeah, I like you here.